What's going on, folks? Kevin here from Sportsbox Breaks coming at you live Friday night, November 15th, 2019. We are busting open 2019 Tops Chrome Baseball. This is the hobby. Uh, case break number five. Who has who in the break? Arizona Diamondbacks going to Tommy K. The Atlanta Braves going to Doug F. The Baltimore Orioles going to Jason M. The Boston Red Sox going to Dennis H. Chicago Cubs. Going to Ryan Ryan Y. Ryan, good to see you back in. I think it's been a little bit since uh, since you've been in some of the breaks. Good to see you back in the mix, my friend. Uh, Chicago White Sox going to Kyle F. The Cincinnati Reds going to Alan B. Cleveland Indians going to Tommy K. Colorado Rockies going to Daniel B. Detroit Tigers, John M. Houston Astros going to Ravi J. Kansas City Royals going to Travis S. The Los Angeles Angels, Doug F. Los Angeles Dodgers, Dennis L. Uh, the Miami Marlins going to James D. Uh, Milwaukee Brewers going to Christopher J. Minnesota Twins going to Christopher J. New York Mets going to Jeremy T. Uh, New York Yankees going to Greg Z. Oakland A's going to Mike T. The Philadelphia Phils going to Jake S. Pittsburgh Pirates, Greg Z. San Diego Padres going to Stacey U. San Fran Giants going to Fred M. Seattle Mariners going to Raymond T. The St. Louis Cardinals going to Mike B. Tampa Bay Rays going to Mark C. Texas Rangers going to Michael W. Toronto Blue Jays going to Kyle F. And the Washington Nationals going to Mike B. All right, guys, here we go, here we go. This one's been filling for a little bit. It's been fermenting on the shelf. So maybe it's got something crazy in it. This is our final case of Topps Chrome. We had a decent amount of this stuff on release. And uh, we broke a bunch of it. We had the Chrome and the other, what, the Jumbo as well? The Jumbo is the more popular of the two for sure. <laughs> but the uh, the Hobby, you know, typically has more color lined up across the boxes because it's only two autos per box. So it does typically have more color. <laughs> Greg, I saw your message there. Must have had too much money on your hands one day. All right, here we go, guys. First box. Again, all cards do ship to you. So if you're new to our breaks and you're involved in this one and it's your first break with us at SBB, please do know you're going to get every card. This one has 1,152 cards, I think, in total. You get them all. And that goes for all of our breaks. I'm going to do two of these at a time. Two at a time, I think, feels decent. High Tech sold out coming up next, guys. High Tech number one, and then the Immaculate Football break number two could be a reality tonight also. There we go. Two stacks. Good luck. I want to go that way. I want to put Vlad's head with his batting helmet all the way to the right. Here we go. So what are you guys up to? Anybody uh, watching this from a fun location? I know Jess said uh, he was watching from uh, his local bar a couple nights ago. That's pretty awesome. You guys chilling at home, watching breaks, or are you out somewhere on a Friday watching on your mobile? Jess, did the guys in the bar have any idea what you were even up to? Like, what the heck is this video of, like, sports cards being busted open? <laughs> one dude did I saw Travis's message it made me burst out laughing <laughs> after, simply after driving by Travis it has that much of an effect on you Taco Bell one guy did and then he was all excited awesome no sushi cereal instead Greg
All right. I forgot. What is there? Four cards per pack, right? That's why these packs are taking us a long time to get through. Four cards per pack. There's one stack. Sushi to cereal, yeah. Is it at least good cereal, Greg? And by good, I mean something amazing like Cinnamon Toast Crunch or... Something that's pure sugar and deliciousness. Got to talk about food. I'm slightly hungry. Whenever I'm hungry and we're doing these break sessions, the food talk is like endless. Ah, for, for the vegetables. I love it. Frosted Flakes and Special K. It's a good mix. I can't tell you, I haven't had cereal in the house for the last, for the better part of probably the last like five years, maybe even longer. I do uh, no carbs on and off. So if cereal's here, I will eat it. And uh, not so good for the no carbs. Ah, yes, the Aruba trip coming up. When you leave it again, Jess, over the weekend, right? All right, here we go, guys. Let's start on the left stack. And again, all cards are going to ship to you. We're going to focus on anything that's a numbered card. Obviously, the two autograph cards and so on. So let me get these guys focused in. All right, Charlie Blackman up top. Got a Future Stars insert Brian Anderson. I think it's colored borders, right, that we're looking for. Here's the uh, throwback design of Soto. Tomorrow at 7 a.m., nice. Have a great time. So here's like a uh, prism-style background of Duggar. I can't remember what they're actually called. It's been a minute since we've done any of this product. Got a Greatness Returns, Dodgers, both sides, Koufax and Kershaw. I see purple coming up here. It's a freshman flash insert of Michael Kopeck. There's an Aaron Judge. What is it, the 86 style? I can't remember. What year is this uh, throwback style they have in here? Is it 86? The casinos there are so weird. They're in like, you know, they're real tiny. They're in these like little tiny like strip malls and stuff. They're really, the one in the Radisson is, it feels like the most like a normal casino. The rest of them though are kind of weird. Okay, first auto guys going to the Tigers. The Tigers belong to John M. John scoring one. Lugo Auto, Detroit. Detroit Tigers, first one. And here's a little uh, negative. For the Arizona D-backs, 84, right? 84 throwback style. Speak of the devil, there's one of Otani, 84 throwback style. Yeah, 84 obviously makes sense considering the anniversary, right? And here it is, guys. Brandon Lau, Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay going to Mark C. There you go, Mark. I think this one was just picked up, right? Yesterday. Brandon Lau coming your way, sir. Tampa Bay Rays. All right, that's two autos. Let's find some color in here. I'm cheating. I'm looking for it on the side profile. There's a Colby Allard, 84. 
And here's some color. Abreu, green wave for the White Sox. The White Sox belongs to Kyle. And that's a 73 out of 99 on the Abreu. Okay, first box. Let's put him right there for the moment. Here comes box number two. <clears throat> Lock for Saturday. We'll see about Sunday. Probably just do a couple. Maybe. Ah, yes. Nice, nice. All right, here we go. Freshman Flash, Jake Bowers. Insert. Kaikuchi. All right, Otto's got to be coming up here any second. Mike Trout. All right, two autos hiding, hiding. Here's a uh, Hank Aaron Braves, Mike Trout Angels. So just to point this out, I know our regulars know this, but for those that are new to us, uh, whenever a card does not have numbering on it but has more than one team, which this one is in that exact scenario, um, we don't run it through the randomizer to determine who gets it. We go off the front face of the card, top to bottom, left to right. So the Braves fall on the left, so this will be a Braves card. If it had numbering 50 or lower or had some kind of autograph or relic on the card, then we would run it through the randomizer to determine who gets it. So, And it's not a quote-unquote hit per se. It goes off the face value of the card. So Braves getting a hero. <laughs> Why not? Boom, baby. Pete Alonzo Otto, box number two. Who's got them Mets? Jeremy T has them Mets. He's been sitting on that spot for the better part of a month. And uh, guess what, bud? You're getting it. Pete Alonzo. Box number two. Alonzo shows right up. Boom. I'm going to put that in a sleeve for the very moment. If I have any, yep, I do. Boom. Boom, boom. Pete Alonzo in box number two. Beautiful. Congrats, Jeremy. What a hit. Nice. That was a Hoskins negative there, just to show it back. I see gold. No, it looked like gold. It was just the way that the uh, landscape style photo, the background was showing up there. So I think we're still doing auto in here, right? I think, I think. Or is that four autos? That's three autos. So, if, And there it is. There it is. That is a Chance Adams, New York Yankees. Yankees going to Greg Z. There you go, Greg. I know you're hanging out live watching it. Chance Adams coming your way, buddy. And that's going to be like a landscape-style photo card as well. So pretty awesome. Chance Adams. Let's see what else we got in here. Any other color? Got a Mookie. I can't believe Pete Alonzo showed up in box number two. Got a freshman flash of Colby Allard. All right, that's two boxes. Let me offload these cards. Offload in. Guys, high tech is sold out. That's coming up next. That'll be a relatively quick break. Not a whole lot of cards in each box. Can we do another one beyond that? That'll be three breaks. Can we do a fourth? If you guys want to see more Immaculate go tonight, work on some of those numbers. That'd be awesome to see a second case of Immaculate. All right, here we go. Pete Alonzo. All right, I said I wanted Vlad Jr.'s batting helmet to be facing the right, correct? I think that's the way they need to be set up. Empty box. Empty box. Now let's get to the business of four cards per pack. Yes, I could be wrong. 
But I think... Isn't the World Series of Poker running an event in Aruba right now? I could be wrong, but I think they just finished up their European event. And I think they're doing an Aruba event. Burley, what's happening, bud? The duo. Yeah, do uh, jump on WSOP.com or do a Google search for WSOP Aruba and see if it's uh, coinciding with your... I, I'm almost positive it either just started or it's starting for this upcoming week. At the Hilton, the 14th to the 24th. I knew it. I knew it. I, um... Like, I get... On my Facebook feed, I get like all those updates from Card Player Magazine and all that kind of stuff, and I thought I saw something with Aruba. So there you go, Jess. The wife is going to be uh, yelling at you because you're going to be wrapped up in poker tournaments when you're supposed to be hanging out on the beach. That'll be coming up next, Burley. Yep, High Tech is sold out break number one. But we do have more cases of it. So if you missed out on the Astros or any of the other teams and you want to grab them in one of the uh, other breaks, you can certainly grab them in one of the uh, break two or three. Yeah, that's it, it just randomly popped in my mind that I saw that within the last couple of days, that Aruba WSOP. I think it's an official, it's not like a, it's not like a WSOP circuit either. I think it's actually a new thing they're trying this year um, with like bracelet events. Where those other WSOP events they do around the country are like ring events where they're not actually bracelets. I think this one is going to be uh, an official bracelet event kind of thing. I think. Although it might be a circuit. I remember we were at uh, at the Hilton, or not the Hilton, what was it, the Radisson, and hanging out in the Radisson Casino back in like 2006 when a big event, the Aruba Poker Classic, was going on there. As working ladies, not pros. And um, for the first time ever, I saw the game Ultimate Texas Hold'em, the casino game, Ultimate Texas Hold'em. And I was sitting there and playing it, and a bunch of guys that were there for the uh, Aruba Poker Classic were playing it too. And if you guys play any of those carnival-style games, you'll know that oftentimes the dealers aren't very good at dealing them. And you got to really watch your payouts, because a lot of times they'll, not, they'll try to scoop your money when you have a winning hand. Or on the flip side, they're going to pay you too much a lot of times. Or pay you out on a hand that's not a winner. Well, let me tell you. That on that trip, it was like we were all in on a joke. Because the dealers dealing that game, it must have been brand new. Again, this is 2006 and it was brand new. The dealers had no idea how to pay it out. And they were paying out on stuff that should never pay out. And all of us were just sitting there with like the cat that ate the canaries look on our face. Nobody was saying a word. We were letting them pay out, and uh, they paid out maybe even hundreds or thousands of dollars when they should not have over the course of like long sessions on that game. It was crazy. There's a Torres, 84 throwback style. But nobody was complaining. All right, here's another duel. St. Louis and Washington Nats. So Bob Gibson is on the left, so that will be a St. Louis card because it's not numbered. Yeah, you really got to watch. On those carnival games, you really got to watch the dealer payouts. All right, I see Gold Wave, I think, coming up next. Freshman Flash, and here it is. Gold Wave of Chris Davis for the Orioles, which is Jason. Jason M., 32 out of 50. So first low-numbered 
something with color there. Gold to 50. There's a Rizzo. And here it is, guys. It's purple. St. Louis Auto of Patrick Wisdom. St. Louis going to Mike B. There you go, Mike. Congratulations. Nice hit. What's your numbering? 40 out of 250. Patrick Wisdom. Nice hit, Mike. There's a Kyle Wright negative. And here it is. Uh, Thomas Pannone, Pannone, Toronto on the board for Kyle. Toronto Blue Jays. Blue Jays scoring the second auto. Do we have anything else hiding in here? Okay, that's one of two boxes. Here comes the second one. Let's see, I think let's go that way. All right, here comes Green Wave. Billy Hamilton, Kansas City. I love the carnival games. I mean, they're just fun. They're no-brainers. They're no-brainers. Kansas City with the Green Wave. And that is going to Travis, 58 out of 99. Jason loves them, too. Don't let Jason fool you. When he goes to the casino, that's primarily what he's playing. Although he does pretty well on blackjack. But he, I think oftentimes he's playing the other games because the chance of hitting a jackpot, you know? Ichiro. Here comes orange. There it is. Angels. With the Taylor Ward first low number here, we got a, a gold to 50. Now, orange, this should be the 25, right? Angels going to Doug. That is 5 out of 25. First orange. Freshman flash. And here it is. Perez Otto for Houston. Houston going to Ravi. Ravi J. Congrats to you, Ravi. Mike Trout again. And here it comes. St. Louis with the Garcia Auto. Who's got the St. Louis spot? Mike, how about it again, buddy? How about it again? St. Louis Cardinals. Boom for Mike. That's also a, a uh, refractor to 499 also. 386 out of 499 refractor auto. All right, that's two more boxes down. Let me offload these cards. We'll get into the next two. All right, here we go. Next two boxes. These two will put us at the halfway point once we get through them. Empty box. box. All right, here we go. Four cards per pack. Let's start it up.
Guys, two releases coming out next week. Playbook Football coming out on Wednesday. And uh, barring any future delays, we should have Flawless Baseball coming out on Wednesday as well. It was all already delayed twice, I think, right? It was supposed to be out like a month ago. Got to, ooh, there it is. I see it already. We're going to see that in a sec. Caught a glimpse of it. But yeah, Wednesday, two decent releases. Playbook's going to be great. Playbook in previous years has been done in um, like inner box format where you have a master case and there's two inner boxes. This year it's just 16 straight boxes. So we're doing two 16 box full case breaks and then we're doing an eight box break of it uh, because we got eight extra boxes. So basically two and a half. Local casino is going to get Cajun Stud. You know, they had that at the New York, New York out here, Travis. For a real brief time, it was a um, kind of a test. I played it a few times. You could play it exactly like Mississippi Stud if you want to. But it's got extra, it's got extra side bets on it. Where you can play for a low hand and a high hand and all kinds of stuff. There's like a lot going on. It was pretty neat from what I remember. But if you didn't play the side bets, you could play it exactly just like uh, Mississippi. Same odds, all that. But no place here has it anymore. Yeah, three side bets. There's a low hand. I think you have to be in all the way to the end, obviously, to make your low hand. Um, although I can't remember if the side bets play like if you fold your hand, do they tuck your cards under the side bet and the side bet is in play the whole way. I can't remember if you have to be involved in the hand all the way to 5th Street. Like have a bet out on 3rd, 4th, and 5th to still get paid on a low hand or if, uh, if your low hand and stuff is in play even if you fold. Cannot recall. All right, here we go. Okay, I'm going to start on this stack. We know that rookie debut is at the very top of that one. Have to watch some videos? Yeah, check it out for sure. I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I saw it for the first time. I'm playing it. I'm like, this is just Mississippi with extra side bets. But I re didn't really know the proper strategy to be playing those side bets. There's a Chris Sale. Colby Allard. All right, no autos yet. Here is Ted Williams and Mookie. So Red Sox on both sides. And here it is, guys. Adam Simber. Adam Simber, Indians. Indians picking up by Tommy K. Tom, I think you picked this one up tonight to help out the effort. Getting rewarded with an Adam Simber auto, sir. Congrats. All right, there's one. Aaron Judge. <clears throat> oh, that was Josh Bell flying out at us. And here it is. Chris Shaw, San Francisco. San Fran going to Fred. Fred M. on the ownership of the San Fran Giants. Chris Shaw Auto coming your way, Fred. Congrats.
Freshman Flash, Kyle Wright. Okay, that's one side. Let's look at the second side. We know that. I think that rookie debut is right here in the first stack. There it is. It's at the very end. And boom, we got a David Fletcher right at the very top here. Angels going to Doug. David Fletcher Auto coming your way, Doug. Congratulations. So Angels scoring one of the autos. Anthony Rizzo. All right, here it comes. Here it comes. And it is, what do we got? Game Gear Relic with some color for the Twins. Minnesota Twins belong to, let's see, Christopher J has the Twins. And it is a green to 99. Brian Dozier, rookie debut Game Gear Relic. So pretty cool. Nice pinstripe going on. So we're still do one more auto. So we're still going to see another auto in there in addition to the Game Gear. And here it is. Ooh, all right. How about them Mets? Jeff McNeil. So we pulled Alonzo and we pulled McNeil. New York Mets killing it here for Jeremy. Congratulations, sir. Jeff McNeil auto to go along with that crazy Alonzo. Two boxes or three boxes back. This one refractor to $4.99 as well. Jeff McNeil. Pretty nice case. Cedric Mullins, there he is. Which product was it that Cedric Mullins was showing up like crazy? Evan Longoria. Desperate Housewives, if you will. All right. Give me a sec here, guys. Let me offload these. We are halfway there, folks. Halfway through it. How long are we recording for? About 30 minutes? Yeah, this, this stuff usually takes the better part of an hour to get through. It's all about that four cards per pack. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six boxes left here, guys. <laughs> Every product made in 2019, the Cedric Mullins, but there was one product in sp uh, specifically, Travis. I remember like every box had a Cedric Mullins auto. I can't remember what the heck it was, but he was, uh, yeah, quite plentiful in the autographs in the 2019 baseball product. Guys, if we can get momentum going on that second case of Immaculate Football, break number two, you can see it up there, 16 remaining teams. If we can get that one down into the single digits, um, you know, I'll push as hard of an effort as we can to get it broken tonight. If we can get that guy down to like nine spots, I'll blast it all over social media. We'll try our best, uh, best effort to get it filled. 
So the offer is out there. We can do two of them tonight. We did one. There's one box. These four cards per pack, it's a little bit brutal. A lot of packs. All right, here we go. Let's start right here. And here's a blue of Hoskins. Blue wave. Philadelphia fills to 75. Let's get a red. There's an Arcuna. Kyle Tucker. Uh, Chris Shaw, green, San Fran, numbering 14 out of 99. And I think there it is. Toronto Blue Jays scoring another one here. Roddy Telez. Toronto going to Kyle. That's a second one. Second Toronto Auto, and that's a refractor to four ninety nine. Here's a future stars of Austin Meadows, and we got some green coloring happening here. So we got numbering to ninety nine, twenty six out of ninety nine, Tampa Bay. Freshman Flash. Oh, there he is, Cedric. How about him? And here it is, guys. Miami scoring one. Isaac Galloway. Miami going to James D. James, there you go. Miami Marlins. Isaac Galloway Auto. Congrats. Okay, that's one box. Here comes the second. Oh, that card is flipping right out of there. Let's put them back on the stack. 
And boom, boys, how about it? Orange Auto. How about that Toronto spot? We pulled him once already. Thomas Pannone. Pannone? I still don't know how to pronounce this dude's name either. Take a drink, guys. Let's continue our drink uh, game from last night. Toronto. Blue Jays going to Kyle. That is orange, which is going to be 10 out of 25. There you go, man. Nice. Lowest numbered auto yet. Let's see what else. So we've got some orange ink. And here it is. Next up, San Diego <clears throat> with the Jacob Nix. San Diego Padres go to Stacy. Stacy. Again, a Jacob Nix rookie auto. Going to the Padres. Congratulations, Stacy. Freshman Flash, Chance Adams. Four boxes left after we get through this little stack right here. Got some purple of Josh Rogers. Baltimore going to Jason. Purple to 299. Uh, what do we got? Milwaukee Brewers times two on that one. Greatness returns. And uh, Elvis Andrus finishing off that stack. All right, guys, let me offload these cards. We have four boxes still left to bust open and look at. One sec. I'm trying to keep it all organized here. All right, here we go. Two more. High tech coming up next, guys. Sold out already. One empty box right there. All right. That's empty as well. Here we go.
guys, do me a favor. If you're watching this on any of our live channels, especially YouTube, um, hit that subscribe, please. Always looking to be building up our subscriber numbers. It helps out the effort to get this stuff filled up. It lets folks know that we are live when we go live and all that good stuff. So the bigger the numbers on the subscriber base helps out everybody. Everybody's anxious for these breaks to get filled. So the bigger uh, the effort to get them filled by having a bigger subscriber, that, uh, that helps the whole group. Greg is a guy that watches a little bit of YouTube and smash that like button. That is literally the phrase that they all say, right? All the regular YouTubers. I can't bring myself to be that corny, Greg, but I will say hit the subscribe. I mean, I suppose the like button does help in the algorithm, but uh, eh, we're a little different. that like button. Uh, I heard one guy say, uh, if you like this video, hit the like once. If you don't like this video, or hit the thumbs up button once. If you don't like this video, hit the thumbs down button twice. <laughs> I thought that was pretty ingenious. Because hitting the thumbs down button twice basically dislikes it and then uh, takes away the dislike. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Two more boxes. Alright, Joey Votto. Uh, what do we got? Cubbies on both sides. Ernie Banks and Baez. Thought that was an orange for a minute of Bregman, but not an orange, just colorization in the background there. Freshman Flash, Chris Shaw. All right, we gotta have an auto coming up soon, and sure enough, wow, Toronto is killing it. Sean Reed Foley. That's at least three autos, I think, so far for Toronto, right? Sean Reed Foley this time. Kyle, another one for you. Another one. Francisco. Freshman flash of Telez. And here it is. Dennis Santana. It's four for Toronto so far. Dennis Santana, Dodgers, which I think this was the final team, right? Wasn't the Dodgers the final team to get picked up to close out the break? Dennis picked it up and uh, scored a nice one. Dennis Santana for Dennis L. Although he spells his uh, Dennis with one or two N's, right? Dennis, you score spell yours with uh, with one N. Dodgers on the board. Dennis going to Dennis. And here's a Baez blue for the Cubbies. Cubs going to Ryan. And that is 65 out of 150 on the blue. Okay, that's one out of two boxes. Here we go on the next.
Freshman Flash of Sheffield. Nothing yet, folks. Alcuna Future Stars. I see blue. Is that blue with ink? Could be. It is. <laughs> baby. Why not? Holy boom. Vlad Guerrero Jr. Blue Wave Auto for the Blue Jays. We're just talking about the Blue Jays crushing it with a bunch of autos. And why not Vlad Jr. to go along with it? Blue Wave Auto for Toronto. I'm going to sleeve Vlad Jr. as well. We sleeved up... Uh, we sleeved up what you call it earlier. Pete Alonzo. Let's sleeve up Vladdy Jr. here. Crazy case. What a crazy case. Vlad Jr. Blue Wave and your numbering is 27 out of 150. What a case. Boom. Well, let's see what else we got here, guys. I think that was the first of two autos, right? I think. Out of this box. And here it is. Got a Garcia St. Louis auto. Second one. I think that's a dupe, right? Pretty sure that is a dupe. St. Louis Cardinals going to Mike B. Garcia, number two, coming your way. Crazy that this is the final case of the product we have, and we score an Alonzo and a Vlad Jr. in the same case. Got a Brandon Crawford purple San Francisco to $2.99. All right, and that does it. Guys, we're down to the final two boxes. Let me offload these cards, and we're going to look at the final two. Vlad Jr. Blue Wave Auto. How about it? All right, here come the final two boxes, guys. Final two. second empty box okay we want to go that way and that way If we're going silent here, guys, I'm trying to uh, preserve my voice. I feel like I'm 
either getting some kind of sore throat or something going on here. Dry throat, sore throat. Cotton mouth, that too, that too. I have an iced tea and a coffee off to the side here, although I've barely taken a sip of either in the last two hours since we started this thing. You'll be happy to know, Travis, it is a Starbucks coffee. Your favorite. Along with Taco Bell. the toilet just from having passed by Taco Bell. That was so good. Guys, guess what? We're coming down into the home stretch here. Four cards per pack. Been a pretty hot case with some big booms so far. Can we finish it off with another one? Maybe a red auto. All right, last pack right here, guys. Last pack. There it is. Or why not? Hey, let's just go for the Super Fracture, right? Let's do it. Here we go. Nothing yet. And nothing yet. All right, we're halfway through the stack. Burnt. <laughs> uh, yes. All right, guys. Freshman flash of Cedric, and I see blue wave behind Cedric. Is it ink? It's not ink. It's a Nick Birdie blue wave for Pittsburgh, and that is going to be 61 out of 75. Here's the ink. How about them angels? Los Angeles Angels on the board for Doug with the Griffin Canning. Angels Auto. There's one of the two of them. There you go, Doug. Congrats. All right, here's Orange. Check it out. Jose Urena. Miami. Orange Wave. Miami going to James D. James, you're numbering 20 out of 25, buddy. Nice. Nice. Burnt coffee and diarrhea. Oh, that's great. Freshman flash of Kopech right behind it. Also, all right, here's Orange Wave again, guys. Is it auto? It is. Oh, baby. Taylor Ward, Orange Wave auto. So the Angels scored what? The canning on the previous auto. And the second auto of the box also going to the Angels and Doug. And it's Orange Wave to 25. Six out of 25, Doug. Congratulations, sir. Clean sweep on the Angels in that one for the autos. Angels box. Okay, that's one box. Here comes the second box. I'll hit recap this one as well a little bit later, guys. I'm going to jump into uh, into the high-tech next, and then I'll hit recap this one a little later so it's not just an hour video sitting out there.
All right, nothing yet, nothing yet. I see gold. Okay, here it is. Edwin Diaz, Mets. Mets picking up a gold, 24 out of 50. Jess, I will be, uh, I'll be gone all, well, I'll be gone from Wednesday through the rest of the week, but the releases don't come out until Wednesday, and quite literally, uh, the shelves are pretty bare here, so I probably will not be breaking next week at all, unless, like, my second case of Immaculate fills up or something, maybe I'll bust it open on Monday or Tuesday night, but otherwise, I think I'm going to be off all next week. So we're still waiting on our autos. <laughs> well, why not? I think that's the first one of these I've seen. Dual rookie auto. Brandon Lau and Jake Bowers dual. That is Tampa Bay times two, right? Tampa Bay and Tampa Bay. That's going to Mark. Mark, I don't know if you're still hanging out watching it, buddy. That should make you feel a wee bit better. That's the 25 as well. 3 of 25. Dual rookie. Brandon Lau, Jake Bowers. Nice hit, Mark. Very nice. And I think we're still doing other auto, right? Mark, you got it, bud. Congratulations. Nice hit. Nice hit. Isn't it funny how the last box always ends up heating up to have something crazy? Like, oftentimes it does. Uh, what do we got? Joey Rickard. Rickard? $2.99 purple. And is this it? It is. Arizona D-backs going to Tommy with the John Duplantier. Arizona D-backs. Tommy K. Scoring another one for your teams, Tom. And let's see if we have any color in here to finish it off strong. And that is it, guys. That's the last of it. Again, thank you very much for getting it filled. I'll do a hit recap from this one in a little uh, separate video in addition to this. And again, lots more baseball on the site next week is going to be Flawless Baseball. Uh, we still have some Bowman Chrome HTA on the site, so if you're checking this out and you want to jump into some baseball breaks, we got it, guys. So jump in, and uh, we'd love to see you in the breaks.